Hi, my name's Diane. You're currently watching the Just Kidding Round Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Each week, we like to invite artisans from our community into our studios to um, introduce them to our home viewers. And today, we have a, um, a new guest. His name is George. Hi, George. Hello. And this is his first time on our yeah. show. And you are a very, very talented person. Thank you. Before we get started, if you don't mind looking into camera two, and we like to say hi to somebody special. So um, I'm sorry I didn't tell you that before the cameras came on, but I'm going to say hi to Mr. Feeney and to all the students at South Bay Elementary. Oh, I'd like to say hello to a special friend of mine, an elderly lady who's a very special person. Her name is Barbara Peach, and also to my son, Jake. I'd like to say hello. Great. Now we'll have to make sure they see this show, right? Great. Okay. And um, you probably noticed on the opening credits that we open on uh, a beautiful, beautiful piece of uh, artwork. And uh, it was this one. Is that right? Yes. Sorry? It's called Night in Blue. Night in Blue. And it, where did you actually see, did you sit in, in the out of doors and see that mm -hmm. image? Or do you... Was that from a photograph? This particular painting came from out of my mind. Just, oh. I just imagined this place and painted it. Oh, what a very vivid imagination you have. It's just beautiful. Thank you. So that's a bridge and it's a night scene. And do you use acrylics? Uh, mostly oil these days. So are we all these oils? Uh, most of these are oil today. Okay. Mm -hmm. And about how long did it take you to make this one? Well, different uh, different paintings vary. Night in blue, I did in a day and an evening, you know, oh, okay. all day and through the night. Yeah. And then the next morning, you know, I may look it over, and if it needs some teeny tiny little detailing with a tiny brush, I might go over it and. But uh, mm. just to make sure that everything's Looks right. Just beautiful. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. And how long have you been painting, George? Well, I've been sketching and painting and doing art since I started sketching at about the age of four or five. Four or five. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you were raised in this community, is that right? Native of Olympia, Washington. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You don't meet many of those. I can't yeah. even make that claim. <laughs> Wow, so you've been living here, wow. And you went, did you go to the public schools in this area? Yes. Which schools did you go to? <laughs> well, I, the reason I chuckled is mm -hmm. because my mother was the type of person that moved every oh. six months or every year. So a collection of schools. Changing huh? schools all the time. Oh. But I'll bet you there's yeah. people in the community that recognize you. Yeah, I think a lot of people know of me around the area. Yeah, in, in fact, when you came into the studios today, I was shocked. People said, oh, he writes a lot of songs. I said, no, no, you've got him confused with somebody else. See, this guy paints. Yeah. And sure enough, you write music, yeah. you write poetry, mm -hmm. you paint. Yeah, yeah, I've been an entertainer in this area since I was a child, too, and, you know, just entertaining at different events. And ah. I sing and write songs, sing but wow. the painting helps balance everything out. You know, if yeah. I get a little burnt out with one, I'll put more of an emphasis on the other for a while and oh. just go back and forth. Are you left-handed? No, I'm actually right-handed. Oh, okay. Do you, you brought your pad. Mm -hmm. Would you mind showing our audience? Could we spend a little time sure. teaching? And then after that, could we go through a lot of these paintings? Sure. I know we could probably spend hours just talking about the paintings. Well, I thought what I would do here today is just show you how to draw a face, sketch a okay. face. And uh, is this a special paper? It's parchment, isn't it? Or something? It's just regular sketching paper, as far as oh, I know. Seems so nice. Oh, well, thank you. Um, this is what uh, I call expression impression sketches. Okay. And is that you, your own term then? Yeah. Okay. We might need to move that sure. because Jim's an sure. excellent cameraman, but he can't. Okay. All right. So. Now, you can do these, like, in just three minutes. As a matter of fact, I could sketch you and do it in probably under th uh, under three minutes. Okay. So what are we going to do Do you here? want me to just do a quick one of you first or just well, show you? Well, go ahead. Whatever you... That would be fine. Okay. Well, if you turn I'm to... I'm worried about what it's going to look like. It'll probably look like me. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do oh, okay. this. 
I'll just show you. You want to do a man or a woman's face? Let's do a woman. A woman's face. Okay. If you go to the upper left hand side of your corner, this, you know, there's a lot more to this that we could do in a short amount of time, but this is just the basic principle okay. of doing a face. Okay. Um, oh. Whoa. <laughs> that I am so nervous about that painting, I'm telling you. I'm, oh, my goodness. It's going to be okay. She's Thank okay. you. Okay. All righty then. Okay, just on the upper left hand corner of your page, make a. Uh, a straight line. Straight line. And then make a little indentation. I'm going to start a break. So start Someone it had a really good shot at your work. Okay, I'm going to start this again. Is. Okay. Okay. Small indentation. And then come in to the right just a little bit like this with a little curve. That's good. Now come out like this, like a cheekbone. Hold it. I probably should have did this larger. Mine's got a little chubby cheekbone. Hey, that is, that's good. That's a good cheekbone? That is okay. really good. You've never did this before? No, never. I don't know where we Oh, my we're God. Going. You're doing better than I am. I got to do it. I got to start again. You go through a lot of paper? You are a natural, I'm telling you. Okay. I don't Go think. like this. Okay. All right. Now, right at the top of this bump right here, since okay. we're doing a woman, for an eyebrow, women's are pointy. And men's are more round. Is that right? Are yeah. we born that way or we just design them that way? Well, this is how I understood it. The first time oh. I did this, I was about four or five years old when I learned this one technique. Did you, ha did you take art lessons? Well, I had a member of my family that was studying art when I was, he's 15 years my senior. Oh. Uh, he was my oldest brother. And oh. then he, he gave it up, but he stuck with it for several years. But oh, I was. Uh, you were so young. I was so you... little, and he was babysitting me that day. It's sort of where it began mm -hmm. for me. And he's, he wanted to keep me busy with something. He said, Here's wow. how you do a face. So it began with this. It sure shows you, Sue, that you, we really never know the real impression we live, leave on some people, especially young children. Exactly. Oh, That's I could tell you. It's oh, amazing that all this started yeah. actually because of your brother. Well, and, and a teacher, too, in. I think I mentioned briefly to you on the phone in the mm -hmm. first grade, I, we did, it was Halloween time and we were doing a Halloween scene and she made this big deal out of what I, I drew and just, you know, really flipped out over it. I thought credit. I made a grown up. <laughs> Flip ha, out. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, she, she had this Aww. reaction so it inspired me. Yeah. That I could do something that could wow. have an effect on somebody. Okay. So yeah. getting back to this. You probably this, had a lot of natural talent though. Okay. okay, mine's going to have a lot. Well, take this one. Okay, now just move over just about three quarters of an inch and make the other eyebrow just like that. This has an awful long one. Mine's going to have a very wide face. And then if you just come down here for a nose about midway of this round part here and just make a little curve. This is just a basic thing. And then just you can make a little nostril here on each side and make a little curve like that. There's a lot more to it than this. You're doing great, but this is just a basic thing to just give you a general idea of a face. Now for your mouth, you know how it looks like a bird flying? Okay, I'm still in the middle of a cheek. Looks like a little seagull flying for the top. You are really doing oh, great. I am serious. I cannot believe it. That is really, oh, you've never done this before. <laughs> I'm amazed. <laughs> it's really good. Okay. Okay. Uh, just round on the bottom, and then put a little dip right there in the lips like that. You're just a good teacher. How's that? Well, thank you. Actually, we should have did the eyes first. I moved ahead a little. I do like the fill. I don't. I have never used this, and we're not allowed to say brand names, but this sketch it, thing. It's a charcoal pencil. It's a charcoal mm. pencil. Oh, they're nice, because I'll show you I can shadow in a minute. But for the eyes, just make a little dip like that. Just come around like this. And do the other side, like so. Do you ever? Are you ever featured in um, the art walk? They're bugging me all the time to do that, mm -hmm. but I've been so uh, worried about my paintings, as you can tell, I about moving them around. Do you know, he, it's the first time ever we've had a picture fall over a painting that happened today, right before we started airing. So it's because you're worried. Yeah, well, to you know, that Bible verse about. Yeah. Like fell upon him or, you know, that yeah. verse. So. 
Yeah, it's I... It's going to be okay. It's not going to happen again. <laughs> we won't trop any more of your paintings. <laughs> so let's make a, a, an eye uh, lid like this cross. Go ahead and bring an eyelid. Oh, you are a good step by step. And I'll make a little circle. Now, do you want the eyes to be looking off to the left or the right or straight at you? We could make them look at each other. Okay. No. You no, want to do that? No, mine have to be cross-eyed. I what? want mine looking over at, at Giles. Okay, yeah. if, then follow my lead here and make a circle and then put it more toward Amy to the left then. And make mm -hmm. a circle if you want the to look in that way. <clears throat> now, what if our viewers want these step-by-step? -step? What if they're... Um, if they would like step-by-step -step instructions. Is, is there something they could do to get those? They could rewind this tape. <laughs> <laughs> but you, in the ending credits, you'll see mm -hmm. George's phone number. Sure. So they could call you, would sure. that be okay? that would be fine. But you'll also see this, um, this mm -hmm. show's address. Great. So they could sure. write, and we could write step-by-step. Yeah, and inquire about my paintings, uh, you know, yeah. if you have any information I could give you on that. Um, okay, now, I'm going to show you something that I like to do, just in the essence of saving time. But just go ahead and just make a little, like a, a little jagged around mark it? around the inside perimeters of that circle and leave a white spot in the middle. So that gives the impression of light hitting the pupil. Very good. Now you can put just a few little brief eyelashes here, just kind of poking up since it's a woman here. Are they going straight? Which you, way you, do the eyelashes You can go? just curve Every them which like, way? you can just kind of use your imagination there. If you were uh, sketching a picture of somebody, you could just study their eyes and, and mimic hmm. the person you're drawing. I love your step by step. Because if somebody had You are doing oh, so good, sure. I cannot believe it. It's just fantastic. I can't <laughs> believe you've never done this before. So now well, just do a actually, chin. Actually, I used to have a girlfriend that was really talented, and, and she taught yeah. me a little bit of cartooning, but nothing like this. So add your little chin here. Please. My, yours is incredible. Okay, so little chin. Little chin there. Now, before I have to do your chin, let's just go up here a ways where you can imagine where a person's hairline. Now, my hairline is a little different because I just decided to buzz my hair over the years. Oh, you, know, you bald just, under there? Yeah, I, I sure am. I just, I just buzz it. Yeah. Well, it saves money, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I just I buzz know. since over the years, but I, I cultivate it down here to make up oh. for it. So here we go. For a woman, let's, let's give a hairdo like this. Let's make some little indentations like this. Let's bring her hair around just to the edge of that line and just bring it around to the side right oh, here. Oh, she's got a puffy hair, dude. Sure, let's give her a puffy one here. But on this one, on this side, let's go ahead and bring it all the way around and maybe curve in a little bit toward her eye right here. Let's just go like, like so. Oh, boy, I'm losing it now. That's I'm okay. I'm getting it. If you want. She's got different hair. That's and do all. some circular type. Wavy motion here, if you want. And then an ear, too, I forgot. But rather than show you how to do an ear right now, which would take a long time, you can just put an impression of an ear. We could make her like Van Gogh. Yeah, one ear like Van Gogh, Sorry. exactly. Now, if I had my eraser, which, if I was being technical right mm -hmm. now, that is just excellent. Really? A nick line. You better get a close up of it then. Oh, you, that is just <laughs> fantastic. Up, That's mine. So, right here, Start the neckline up higher right here. That would be mine. But look at that good instruction he gave, just step by step. Right. Now take... And I do that in about mm -hmm. three minutes because of George's amazing instruction. No, that's beautiful job. Now, thank Now you. go like this with You're your... You're a wonderful teacher. Thank you. Now right here, just darken the line on the nose for just a little bit for a reason. Now take your finger and go like this and shadow on the inside to the Just left on side. The inside? To the left. Oh, to the left? To the left, inside, creating. Then her face is all smudgy. Oh, don't smudge your face. It's just putting a shadow on the inside. Oh, no. I okay. screwed it up. No, that's beautiful. That's right. beautiful. Right. And then, see, now you want to get technical. Then you can define the eyebrows and spend time. But that's basically, um, now for a, a shoulder, Put like right here a little line for a shoulder, a neckline. Okay. 
And then let's just give her a V-neck here. Wow, you're amazing. Well, see, if you've never done that before, that's a, Is that pretty that, good I give you first? an A. Show, show yours to the camera. Well, it's... I didn't get this no smudging part. Why would you smudge the nose like that? Well, uh, to the side, it's a shadow. See, oh, normally if you camera? have your eraser... I don't know which camera. If you have uh, an eraser, you'd get rid of this line. Okay. But this, the, the beginning lines gives you the structure, but then you take your eraser and I would show you what to erase, where to cut in, okay. and then make it look like the nose is protruding out. Well, you're just an amazing this that, teacher. So. so do you like doing portraits more than you do landscapes? Portraits are very, very hard. Uh, uh, there is a port, well, here's my self-portrait up I here. I could tell that was a self-portrait. I'm wondering yeah. if somebody right behind me, do I need to duck or... Right on top of my head is George's self-portrait. And George, your last name again? Is Lee Hugh. Lee Hugh. Lee Hugh. Sounds Lee Hugh. Yeah, it's Lee Hugh. French? Yeah. French. French, yeah, it sounds mm -hmm. very... Wow, yeah, that so would be you. That, that's How me. long ago did you do that? I did that about uh, two and a half, three months ago. Oh, months ago, I think I was saying. Yeah. Wow, and I like that shadow behind you. And that's oil, too? That is oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was yeah. that quite an experience doing it? Own? It really was. Um, very much so. Uh, <laughs> Look at those bright blue eyes. You yeah. do have very blue eyes. Oh, well, and there so do you. <laughs> I can't get over your drawing. Oh. And don't ever forget to sign them. Really? You know, sure. Okay, I'll when you do it. something, I mean, put your name right on it. Really? You bet. Yeah. Then thank people you. know who did it. That, that is so very good. Oh, thank you very much, George. I like to do uh, men's faces, too, because of beards. Okay. I like to draw beards on a man because you can just do all kinds of cool things with them, you know. Long thought. beards okay. and mustaches. Well, and we things. could draw another face, or we could talk about your paintings. I'm Let's curious do that. about Let's I'm do curious that. about these two. We didn't, uh, um, we've done the two behind us. Well, this is called The Lovely Earth. The love, and that one you painted today, is that right? Uh, this has just been within the past couple of weeks. But I thought you said the paint was wet. It is wet, but it takes sometimes months to dry. No. Oh, yes. Oil. Is that true of all oil paint? Uh, most oil. Mm -hmm. Well, I never would have known that. To, yeah. Oh, now, now this, what is this one? Well, that one? one is called Crow Watch. But, oh. And the one next to it is the Lovely Earth. But I want to see more of Crow. Tell me about Crow Watch. Tell well, me about the one we have up. A uh, Crow Watch... I took a photograph of uh, a whole bunch of crows. I, I love crows. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... You honestly like crows? Oh, Artistically, or you like oh, their oh, personalities? I just, I just love crows. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. They're, okay. they're very interesting. They were here thousands of years before we were. They're monogamous. They're really... Are they monogamous? Uh, oh, very much so, yeah. They're interesting I thought uh, they were creatures. mean. Oh, not at all. I thought they killed other... Smaller birds. I don't think so. A monogamous bird. Yeah, they stay that. true to their uh, mate. And, uh, uh, so I'm, I see they have your phone number up. Yeah, I know. Now, so if they I want more information the, about any sure. of these, right? Well, when I mentioned the lovely earth earlier, uh -huh. and then they didn't do a shot of I it. think they're worried about it, getting it straight. Oh, I, so see. I see. they probably want to get. So let's talk about okay. this one, because there if they go. can't get that straight, they won't put it up. All right. Well, I, I trust them to give it another try. <laughs> <laughs> but Please that, tell me about this. Okay. I feel like I'm looking outside a window. This, this is, is one so... of my very favorite paintings. It's called Outback. Okay. And it's it's uh, impressionism, and but at the risk of sounding uh, vain or narcissistic, I would uh -huh. say it's impressionism at its best. Uh -huh. And I don't mean to sound vain when I say no, that. No, no, no. Tell me why. Uh, here's another impressionistic one. Oh. That's called Autumn. Look how they dissolve from one to the other. I told you this yeah. crew's the best. Okay. Oh, wow. Now, okay. that's, that's Autumn Twilight. So are these all oils that we're looking at? Did yes. impressionists always work with oils? 
Uh, not necessarily. You can do it in any medium. This oh, wait is... a minute. You can... They're going <laughs> too fast now. Yeah, we're running through but... these. Uh, this oh. is winter impression. But this, is, this isn't imp... wouldn't be impression. No, this is now. actually realism, it, but yeah. it's ironic that the name is called winter impression yeah. when, in fact, it's realism. Yeah, I like the reflection of those trees <laughs> in the water. Now, was that... Were you? Did you look at a picture for that? Yeah, I took a photograph, and lots of times I'll work off a photograph, but I take artistic license, and I put my own spin on it. I only use the photograph to give me an idea of uh, six principles that I can name that are... And what are those six? They're height, depth, proportion... Oh wait, oh. <laughs> we're going to talk about that. Well, you guys, we'll look at, look at all his work. Oh, thank you. No, okay. no, please. Oh, um, we're going to have to add... I, I want to go... Can we go back to the other one? We were still talking about it. A little. Um, well, yeah, thank you. Okay. okay. So six, you use a okay. photograph to talk about six things, and it was... There's height. Height. And depth. Depth. Uh, proportion. Proportion. Light. Okay. Shadow. Shadow. And there's one more, isn't there? Balance, uh, maybe? <laughs> no. I don't know. Distance. Yes, distance. Height, depth, distance. I just love the reflection of those trees. Proportion, you know, light, and shadow. I love this painting because it reminds me of a place mm -hmm. I've, I've been. Where was this photograph taken? Uh, Do you know? Right not far from where I live across. Oh. When we had this last big snow this winter. Oh. I just, not far from so where I live. So this is one of your newer pieces. It then. is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it reminds me of a place in Idaho. Yeah. That a girlfriend, we used to go there, and it just, cool. oh, well, I love that. So this is from our last big snow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And is the paint dry on this yet? This one's dry. Okay. Yeah, because this was around, you know, the winter time. So, so when a, you just, when you finish a painting, do you just go on to the next painting, or what do you do? Yeah, I just get on a roll and just paint, you know, and just pretty much wow. nonstop. And it's quite a collection. Now look at this one. What's this called? Oh, that is, thank you. Oh. That is tilted just a little bit on camera, but that's okay. Uh. I, I'll let you get by with it. But it's actually not quite straight. It should go down this way just a little more. Um, but you want to talk about the painting, though? Yes, it's called Wayside View. Okay. Wayside. And just to let the folks know watching that the camera angle right now, it's, it's tilted on camera. It's not level at the moment, but you get the general idea. And it's just, this is an impression. Oh, this, th that this one, one there I would consider realism that you just seen. And what's this one? This is, I love this. This one is wet. It's not even dry yet. Okay. But this is called The Restless Night. Looks lonely to me. Good. I like to see, I like to uh, see, hear how paintings make people so feel. So is this a path that somebody's it's a path. going down? It's a path. All right. And I used only four colors in this painting. Really? I used purple. Persian blue, titanium white, and black. That's amazing. We're down to three minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And this is a little wayside cabin. Well, that looks like Little House in the Prairie, <laughs> doesn't it, though? Yeah. Wow, and you can see the sun coming mm -hmm. out over the, on the hill yeah. lightly. So that's really, oh, they're just going, you know, they're trying to show mm -hmm. all of the work sure. you brought. How many pieces did you bring today? Uh, well, I left a lot of them in the box. Good. I brought about okay. 20. Five. 20 are on display? Uh, that are here right now? Yeah, how many are on display? I, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I, le I brought about 25. Okay. Um, and would you come back sometime and show us some more? I would love Ma to. Maybe we'll have fewer pieces out because we I don't know if we even got through all these. Oh, not at all. I. <laughs> no, not the ones in the box. Yeah, I'm not talking sure. about the ones in the box. Just the ones on um, display. Did we see them? Oh, uh, did you get the one that fell oh, earlier? Oh, yeah. The... This is the praying angel, and I did this with a palette knife instead of a brush. Oh. I did the whole thing with a palette knife. So do you use different mediums, or do you always use just oils? Well, I do use wow. acrylics from time to time. But these are all oils here These are today. all oil today. And you use different um, techniques, too. Right. This one, I used a palette knife. So there's no... No um, brush work. No brush work. No. Just a knife. Yeah. What made you... What inspired this one? Well, I do a lot of angels and only brought oh. a couple today, but I've did lots and lots of my interpretations of angels. Oh. Have um, you ever seen an angel, do you think? Yes, I have. Seriously? I, I really have. I, when I, in fact, that's how it began with me. I had an experience. With an angel. When I was uh, 
a child looking out the window. We don't have time to, I'm sure, to tell the whole story, but I, you know, seen this event when I was a little kid in the sky, and I, I, to this day I'm convinced that I didn't imagine it, that uh, somehow it was revealed to me in a vision. Maybe she was protecting you. Who knows? I've heard Who that Who knows what might have happened oh, yes. to you if you hadn't seen that. Yeah. So I really... And children are sometimes more yeah. sensitive to those things, especially an artistic one. Yeah. They're telling us to wrap it up. I'm going to have to have you sure. back. Sure. And um, you also play music. So let's do at least one more show on your paintings and maybe do a music show too. I, I'd be honored. Okay. Well, thanks, George. You're welcome. Very much. And a good job on that picture you did. I'm oh, just completely no, just blown away. just a good away. teacher. Well, That's thank you. what it is. So thank you. thank you for joining us. Please tune in again sometime. Thank you to our wonderful crew, um, Jim, Bruce, Bob and Tom Dubuque. Thanks again, George. <laughs> sure. And goodbye, Mr. Feeney. And bye, Mrs. Waite and the students at South Bay Elementary. Goodbye.